Hello you all and welcome to another bad report. This is uh, 1500 points uh, versus my bro actually. I'm trying to get him back into the game. Uh, played a lot in 8th and stuff like that. So I want to get him into 9th age. So we throw up a game of uh, 1500. And uh, first off at his list to the left he have a chimera and he have breath issues. So I spits fire. Then he got a unit of 10 warriors who would work as his bunker with a barbarian BSB, a sorcerer level 2 of uh, fire. He got fireball, flaming jets, and burning bolts as spell. Then he got the unit of 18 warriors with a working shield as well. In that unit, of course, you have full command. You also have his general, a hero level chaos. Uh, plus one attack, magic sword, and five of ward, uh, magic item. Then you got the unit of five knights, command, and uh, banner of speed. In the back to stop my scouts from getting behind this line, he have a fallen beast. Then you got the chariot, five hounds, and five. Barbarian horseman with throwing weapon and precision. And for myself, deploying in the corner, I got two traps, then a unit of uh, 20 bowmen with a level 2 in it uh, who got the uh, path of uh, wilderness, and I got uh, inner fury the signature and the curse spell. Then I got a unit of 50 ish um, Levi with. Um, all command Helbert and a Castellan to give them devastating shots. In that unit, I have my rope uh, to give them some buffs. I got a unit of uh, spearmen uh, with also a Castellan uh, to give them uh, fear devastating shots if needed. And finally, I got a unit of knights for lawn. And I think that's a real cool unit. I want to try it out. And they have full command, nothing else. And that's actually my army. I want to try a army without using any cavalry. So I thought it's a pretty a weak list, I would say. So I said uh, I played that against my brother and because he's new to the game. And we'll see how this experiment will work out. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I have a unit of 10 scouting uh, brigades uh, archer, and I think that's a really cool unit deployed here, and he will get the first time, so let's go. And here you can see his uh, army moving up, closer towards me, uh, and that's basically it. He get off a fireball, who kill... Um, I think four of my archer and uh, the signet attribute to kill one of my, my spearmen, I think. But doing so, he learned the hard way that magic can uh, pretty much kick you in the ass if you're not careful. Uh, his uh, sorcerer gets sucked into the hole and kill, let's see, like six chaos warrior as well. Thankfully for him, they passed there panic check and stay where they are well so for my turn uh, pretty much I back off with my skirmisher archer and that's it for movement since I have a very uh, defensive army I wanna use my advantage of having traps and stuff like that to throw at him before I get into close combat with me I throw my trap at uh, the camera and I put three wounds on that thing, so only one wound remaining for that guy. And the brigade unit uh, killed three of his uh, horsemen, unfortunately they didn't fail panic check, but uh, good for them to shoot as well as they actually do, I think this is a brutally good unit and I will probably take it for a long time. Uh, now that I'm pretty much uh, fall in love with that unit because it's such a cool little unit and so good and it fills out your core points so I don't see any reason for not having them in all my uh, lists uh, 
from here on. Well, here is um, his second turn, and you can see he uh, pushes up a bit. I think his Chaos Knights tried to charge my uh, Forlorn Knights, but they failed, so they just walked up a bit, and uh, that's it. Uh, for his movement phase, and he don't have any shooting. So over to the camera guy, and he flew over here um, to hopefully next turn be able to charge my threat or archer or something. So for my turn, uh, I take the small unit of archer and move them up to shove out his uh, knight. And uh, yeah, on their way they pretty much shoot off all of the hounds that were remaining. My Floor Knights failed the charge on his Chaos Knight, it was a pretty long charge, but uh, it's worth trying. Uh, I push my Spearman up so his Chaos Warrior cannot charge anything except them. Uh, hopefully, I will be steadfast and stick for a bit. I don't have a BSP in this list, so it could be a little bit troublesome. And here you can see I took my mage out of the unit, so he Chimera cannot charge him. He could uh, flew around and breath him, but uh, I cannot do anything more to save my mage. If we killed it, it's 100 points, and that isn't too much uh, as well. So that's my movement. For his turn 3, my trap and everything I throw at the camera fail. Uh, so he charges my bowman. And even though I could do standing shoot with some, I didn't manage to put that last one on. So my, now my bowmen are screwed. Now it's time for the chaos guys. Um, his knights move around my archer unit. And his chariot rally it had failed a panic check before, but it turned around. Um, his chaos warrior big unit charges my spearmen. And he takes his BSP out of the unit and sent forth his fourth Chaos Warrior to shaft up my big block of uh, Helvedeers. And that's it for his moment. And even though his Chimera did manage to kill a couple of bowmen, I did manage to roll that sixes to wound and his Chimera is dead. But unfortunately, in this combat, I blew my leadership 8, he pursue me, he catches me, he gets stuck in that rock. And that was his turn 3, so over to the human side. Well, I didn't have a picture of my movement face because not a lot of things happened. Uh, you can see there my Helvedere unit slams into his 4 Chaos Warrior. My forlorn knight charges his chaos knights, and I plink a wound off with my archer on his BSP, and uh, that's it. I think this turn I get of curse on his warrior unit as well. And in combat, I did manage to kill every single one of uh, his uh, chaos knights. Uh, I might have been that one of them survived and I pursued it down, but uh, they are dead now anyway. And my help there um, broke the Chaos Warrior and uh, run them down. So that's good news for the King No Aquatain guys. And for his turn, he sent his Fallen Beast and his Chariot into my. Um, Put on night, he takes his BSP behind my uh, Devi unit, and his warrior basically moves around the stone uh, to be able to charge my archer next turn. So, this is his turn four, I think. Yeah, and well, in this combat, even though a lot of my knights fall. I did manage to kill the Fallen Beast, I do a couple of wounds on the Chariot, I broke it and pursue it and didn't catch it. But it doesn't matter because it's my turn for next time and I will charge it off the board. And this is what I do, this is a picture of my Forlorn Knight charging the Chariot off the board. And the Archer managed to shoot down his BSB 
and in magic phase as well I did get off the curse on his warriors so that's the only unit he have left he have a big uh, unit of warriors remaining and he rolled like crap for curse when he charges my archer and you can see there's a lot of dead chaos warrior behind that unit but he did get into combat with new archer and he will pretty much beat the living shit out of those poor peasants um, he overrun in my turn 5 into my treb uh, but you can see he have to take another curse test so now there's only 4 dudes remaining uh, which is kind of uh, sad for him that his whole unit got wiped out by uh, the curse spell which I think is one of the best spells in the whole game to be honest for his turn 6, this is the last picture of the game, he killed my trap and I'll run into the next and he will make short work of that one as well. So thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, uh, it was a fun little game. Um, I think the foot based uh, King of Aquitaine army actually works quite well and uh, it could do some real damage. Uh, in that of a skilled player, so I think uh, the days of uh, cavalry only for our army is long gone, and uh, especially the reliquary, the brigade unit, and uh, the foot knights are a really good choice, I think, as well. Uh, and that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Please write me any comments below and i will try to answer them as soon as i can feel free to like and start subscribing if you haven't already have a nice one